Yeah, he's eating your hair. Okay, <laughs> Even when he was so tiny and fragile, he was always a little ball of fire. Truly was hard to believe that he was actually a horse. I stood there in, in awe when I walked in, which is how I discovered that she had delivered. Eleanor was an interesting little rescue for us in that she came from an auction and she was 19 years old. Aww. By the time she delivered Teddy, she was 20. Never in our wildest dreams did we think somebody would have allowed a, a senior horse like that to be bred. He does love the grass. He's beyond tiny. Eleanor was an incredibly protective mother. We have never seen her move that fast in all our lives. If any of the dwarfs stuck their head over the wall to say like, hey, what's over there? Oh my gosh, Eleanor wanted to take their heads off. Eleanor, no, no, Eleanor. It was very sweet that she was like that, but it also set up Teddy for having a very solitary life. So when we would let him play with the dwarfs, None of them wanted to play with him. He would just be out there running his little heart out to like entice them to play. And we were like, oh my gosh, Teddy literally has no friends in this world. So he grew up as a baby with the dogs. That is too cute. It was a matter of time before the dwarves started to accept him. Before we knew it, they were all playing together. Teddy, you're getting them all worked up. We always say he's got the biggest case of FOMO of anyone. I mean, he doesn't want anything going on that he's not a part of. He doesn't know how to be mean to anyone. Yeah. Everybody loves no Teddy. <laughs> Does he feel good? Oh, is that the ticket? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Teddy. Snack. Throw <laughs> that. <laughs>